What's up, friends? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth. This is EJ Joyful Plans, and in today's video, we are flipping through the Gone Wild sticker book. This is part of the Back to School release from the Happy Planner. I received a ton of fun goodies from them, and I'm flipping through them here on my channel. There is a playlist down below with my unboxing and flip throughs of everything that I received. So if you are looking for something, check out the playlist linked in the description box. I am only flipping through Gone Wild, but if you want, to see cottage core florals, fun floors, and mail call from my perspective, then those are in the playlist down below. If you decide to pick anything up, I hope you'll consider shopping with my affiliate link. I'll put the release information down below and the links will be affiliate links. It doesn't cost you anything, but if my videos are helpful, then I hope you'll shop with that link. It doesn't cost you anything, but it tells the Happy Planner that I'm doing a good job at showing product and I get a small commission off of your purchase. So thank you for supporting my work, supporting the channel. I appreciate you guys so much. Let's get into it. Gone Wild. This is a big sticker book. And by big, I mean it is sized for a big sized planner. So um, if you are a big planner user, you are going to want to check out Gone Wild. If you are not a big si sized planner, but you like big stickers and you cannot lie like I do, then this might still be a good one if you're a classic or a mini user. You can use any size sticker in any size planner. Just make it work for you. If you like the aesthetic, then treat yourself. I can already tell I'm gonna love these colors. So let's get into it. This is Gone Wild and the back to school release has a lot of items specifically for teachers and students as we get back into the school year. And this one is teacher themed, but I don't know, maybe some of these might be good for parents as well. Or if you just like the aesthetic, you can kind of trim off the parts that look teachery to you. So let's get into it. This is my first impressions as well. I have not flipped through this. So we're going to do it together. So again, these are sized for a big planner. So they're going to look a little bit bigger than normal. And the teacher layout is also a slightly different layout than, um, than a typical classic vertical. So some of these boxes are going to look a little bit different. So the first sheet is paper and we've got some decorative boxes. You got this. Wait, we don't got this unless we have my trusted tweezers because I like pointing at stuff. Very teachery of me. Okay, you got this. Stay wildly grateful. Stay fierce, balance, and hustle. And then meeting, day off date, meeting due date to do, reminder and checklist. And this is an interesting foil. It's uh, it's not copper. It is a true, I mean, it's gold gold. It's not, it's not pinky enough to be copper in my opinion, but maybe it is copper, kind of a copper color. I like that. I like it. It's it's interesting because this plant, this uh, sticker book looks like it's going to be neutral, but with a little extra pizzazz. A little pizzazz in our neutrals. Okay, next sheet is top priorities. Very important. Just do the next thing. These are bullet lists. And then we have some header boxes in... It, it's navy, but it's got a little bit of a texture to it. Same with that box down at the bottom so I love that they're adding a little bit of it's like a subtle a subtle animal print to it very cool so that is dot grid that is lined and that is your functional checklist or bullet list Ooh, just a little note so very important important note do not forget big win today today's priority do not forget is repeat little reminder do not forget appointment at, little reminder, get this done. These are button stickers. I call these button stickers. I don't know what anybody else calls them, but I call them button stickers. So you can pop this on. These are really great for layering with decor and with other boxes. So those are cute. And then honestly, if you didn't want um, maybe this functional part and you just wanted a, you know, important you wanted to flag something important note you could cut this off right here and just use that header likewise you could cut the top off and just use the bottom so there's lots you can do with this size um this size and shape and then this is a functional box up here it says just a little note and it looks like it is kiss cut so that is cool and then if you want to add a little extra like zhuzh to your planner when you see a sheet that's painted like the whole thing you can trim and make like washi strips 
out of the excess paper because it's printed on sticker paper. So you can use this whole sheet if you wanted to. All right, we've got some, it's gotta be copper. Copper splatter, these are clear copper splatters. <gasps> Fun! This is cool. Okay, I like this for multiple reasons. This is clear. You can write on these with an oil-based pen like the Unipen, okay? And I like that these are actually all individual flag stickers. These are individual, te well, teardrops, I should say. Individual teardrops. So you can kind of put them at any point you want in your planner. Or Happy Planner was cool in laying this out this way. I mean, it was probably because it you could fit the most on this sheet. But this gives you an idea of a way that you could lay them down if you wanted them to be decorative. You could put this pattern on your planner and have it be a decorative pattern. Or you could actually write on them and use them functionally. So I like how they laid this out and I like that these are clear. But remember, oil-based pen when you've got those translucent stickers um, or sticky notes. All right, this is another clear sheet. I love it. And I'm gonna have to figure out how to use them because I'm not a teacher and Esther is not in school yet. I might just have to wait until um, she is in some sort of school program. I love this. It's like a paint swatch or swipe. Picture day, vacation day, open house, book fair, group work, report cards, early release, midterm and training report cards, free day, vacation day, last day training, half day, fun day, back to school, field trip, free day, first day. This is very functional for a parent with kids in school. I work in higher ed and so some of these are functional for me as well. Group work could be anything work related, professional related. Fun day could be for anybody, vacation day, free day, training could be for any professional so you you can definitely repurpose these they don't have to be just for teachers this is good if you are a parent and you want to log that your kids got a picture day so yeah fun ways that you can you can use those and we have some clear quotes with some gold foil stay wildly grateful courage is grace under pressure curiosity is the fuel for discovery inquiry and learning just do the next thing balance and hustle and stay fierce then we have decorative boxes these are great for layering underneath other boxes they are great for you can write on these it might be kind of hard with some of these but you can write on some of them and then I have been loving ripping these and using them like scrapbook or like junk journal type paper in my planner because it's already a sticker. All I have to do is rip it and just, you know, set it down. I don't have to glue like scrapbook paper down. So there are some ideas for these. Then we have, these are, I think this will fit in the margin of your planner but doing all the things do less with more focus believe in the good breathe in breathe out do the best you can and for the love of learning so far this isn't overly teachery in my opinion this is and I keep saying teachery in all these videos I know that that's not a word don't worry I just like saying it I guess <laughs> to do and then we've got some checklists remember this today's priority today's task list very important conference appointment remember this today's priority today's task list very important com con conference i was going to say congress and appointment stickers and this is interesting so this has an open um space up here without a dot and i wonder if that is because you could put yeah, I mean, you could put little flags. You could put another sticker on top of it, a little header sticker, whether that's to do or let's say you're going to a not Congress, you're going to a conference. You could grab the conference sticker if you have like to do's and you could throw that down right across here. See that? And then anything you need to do to prep for your conference, you would put on the bullets going down. So I like that. Then you don't feel like you're wasting a bullet by putting a sticker over it. They just didn't put a bullet where you might want to put a sticker. I love these. These are just functional arrows. These are clear. So you can point to different things, highlight different things in your planner. These are really great on the monthly layout. If you want to migrate a meeting from one day to the next, you can kind of just do a little arrow. 
So those are fun. They're also great for memory keeping. Then we have some half circles and headers, conference, day off, testing, meeting, appointment with that copper splatter. Ooh, these are nice. Due date boxes with flags. I really love the colors. These are great. You could also repurpose these if you don't uh, want to do like a due date and you wanna use that box, you could always grab. Let's go with Congress Conference. <laughs> you could always grab a sticker like this and actually just lay it. And ooh, you could do a little, a little uh, change up with colors if you wanna mix and match. You could, whoops, let's not make a mess of this. Layer this right over it like that. So you can re, you can relabel boxes that are not relevant to you if you like the color or the pattern that's on them. Hopefully that is helpful as you're looking at these and going, well, I don't have a lot of stuff pertaining to due dates. That's okay, I don't either. But I can put um, other boxes on top of it or other washi tape or something like that. Oh, these are cute. So this is just a functional box that's got lines on it, like notebook paper. That's really cute. Got a little bit of that kind of wild styled pattern on it, but very neutral still. Ooh, these are clear. Test and quiz, read. Test, quiz, and read. Repeated in different colors. The quiz ones, maybe not so much if you're not a uh, if you if you're not a parent or you're not a teacher. The reading ones, very easily, if you're reading anything and you want to log that in your planner, then you could use the read stickers. Test could be, I don't know, driver's license test, or let's say you're getting your blood tested, uh, anything like that. You can kind of rethink how how you see these stickers. Lesson plan, faculty meeting, reschedule. Lesson plan, faculty meeting, reschedule. These ones are very teachery. <laughs> I don't, these are gonna be harder. Faculty meeting, that I could work with because I, I work in higher ed, so I do go to faculty meetings. Lesson plan, not so much. Reschedule, absolutely, that is applicable to just about anybody. Um, lesson plan might be a little bit harder, but yeah. This might be one, if you're not a teacher, you might want to maybe donate the sheet to a friend or something like that who is a teacher. But I really love the mix of fonts and I love the colors and the copper. All right, top three. These are functional lined boxes. I love the pattern and the color. More of these checklists. More due date stickers. These have that copper. All the secrets of the world are contained in books. Noted, deadline, big day, believe you can and you're halfway there. Forget the mistake, remember the lesson. Ooh, these are nice. I love these functional boxes. I love the different layouts. One, two, three, priorities, A, B, C, uh, just bullet lists, check it off. Like this, it looks like notebook paper. Very, very functional. And I love the different ways to create lists of to-dos. Absolutely lovely. Get it done. Top three um, to do's. For the love of learning, inspire a new generation. It's about time. Keep up the good work. It's a perfect day to start. Courage is grace under pressure. Then we have meeting, day off, and date. Due date, reminder, and checklist. Wild at heart. Stay wildly grateful. Teach love. And the best day. Ooh, let's see how these are different. They look a little bit richer. We gotta go back. <coughs> Excuse me. We must go back to that. Yes. Okay, let's see the difference. Oh yeah, this has more blues and greens. So these are like your neutrals. Get a good look. Browns and taupey colors. And then here you have some greens and navies. But these are clear again. Love those. Conference, day off, testing, meeting, appointment. And we've got some decorative half circles. Attitude is everything. Inspire, encourage, learn, grow, support, and love. Wild at heart, inhale, exhale. Wisdom begins in wonder. Inspire a new generation. Then functional and decorative boxes here. Big day, teach love, deadline. Believe, motivate, inspire, encourage, support. 
noted and stay fierce. Then we have the test quiz and read stickers on paper. So if you use up all the, the uh, transparent ones or you prefer paper, you can use either here. Then we have the due date stickers, lesson plan, faculty meeting, reschedule lesson plan. This is the same sheet, but without the copper foiling. Then we have the swatches, the paint swatches with copper foiling. Back to school, free day, field trip, midterm, fun day, half day, training, last day, vacation day, free day, report cards, midterm, early release, group work, book fair, vacation day, picture day. So this is the same, but with copper. The best way to do it is, the best way to do it is just to do it. The future is looking bright. Work hard, be kind, make a difference every day. Teach love, it's okay to make mistakes. Cute. That is gone wild. I'd say if you're not a teacher and you don't have kids, there's maybe one or two of the 30 that might be hard for you to use. You just kind of think a little bit more creatively. But I've seen other sticker books that are way more teacher themed um, that are harder to use. So this, this could be very applicable to a wide variety of people, especially if you love the aesthetic of this. You love the neutral animal print and the... Um, like the splatter and the paint splotches, this could be a really good one to pick up. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. If you want to see any more sticker books, you want to see planners, you want to see new Disney, all those things are linked in the back to school playlist down below. I will link the products down below. Those are affiliate links. Thank you for shopping with those. I'm trying to think, is there anything else? Oh, and of course, release information is also down below. Uh, come hang out with me on Instagram. My handle is ejjoyful underscore plans. It is always a good time. And if you want to hang out with me again, I sure hope that you do. Then please consider subscribing to my channel. Until next time, friend, God bless you. God bless you and keep you. Do something creative today and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.